everybody. Joe Joseph here for the DailySheeple.com's new shot. This time we go to RT. That's right. We're going right to the uh, the evil side of the world, according to the U.S. government and the mainstream media. All oh, those pesky Russians are at it again. They had Dr. Paul on the broadcast today, and um, you can go to the link in the description box and watch this interview. I'm, I'm always interested to see what Dr. Paul, Dr. Ron Paul has to say on this whole uh, election being thrown by the Russians narrative, the fake news narrative, all that kind of stuff. But uh, RT had a great article that says, U.S. government propagandists push for a foreign policy of intervening around the world. Former president, uh, presidential candidate and founder of the Institute for Peace and Prosperity, Dr. Paul, told RT in a wide-ranging interview that also touched on Syria. Following reports that the former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton actually blamed Vladimir Putin for personally directing the cyber attack, cyber attack that cost her the 2016 presidential election. Dr. Paul shrugged off the allegations as a fiasco. He said, quote, I think they're just agitated because they lost the election. They're throwing out accusations and they have no proof. He said the same people who are making all these charges, they didn't seem to be worried a bit by the secretary of state having a private server. Paul said, which made it much easier for Russia or anybody else to know what was going on. I mean, how simple is that? Here's an 80-something-year-old guy, right? And he gets it, right? Now, this is a guy that probably doesn't really embrace uh, technology as far as his life is concerned. I'm I'm sure he does more than the average 83-year-old or however old he is. I can't remember. But interestingly enough, he gets it, you know? If you were so concerned about the Russians spying in on what, why did you let her use a private server? Ding! He also said that the American people should be worried about the influence of our CIA in other people's elections. He says, I mean, probably hundreds. It's constant. He said, even going as far to allude to domestic assassinations the CIA has allegedly took, took part in. Think about it. Think about it. And then you wonder why people are pissed. You're not going to get that kind of news from the mainstream media. You're just going to get it from the Russians. Why? Because it's in their best interest that the, the American people know what's going on. Like I said, I have nothing against Russia. I have seen this narrative played out, McCarthyism. Prior to that, we have a monopoly on the nuclear bomb, so we get to dictate to Russia what to do. It's crazy. This has been our justification since the start of the, the Cold War to promote the military industrial complex and to promote big business. And people just don't buy it anymore. It's an old beaten up narrative and it's time for it to go. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. I'll have one again for you real soon.